We are back. We are joined by two of our very favorite sisters, Jenna and Barbara Bush. Their number one New York Times bestseller, Sisters First, is out in paperback this week. That's right. It features stories from their wild and wonderful life in the White House and beyond. And now there's a brand new chapter. It's dedicated to their late grandmother, former First Lady Barbara Bush. Jenna and Barbara, good morning. Good morning. I read your new chapter last night oh. through tears, with tissues. It's mm -hmm. such a beautiful tribute. Mm -hmm. And it must have been... I don't know, cathartic to write, but also hard to write. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we felt like we had to. I mean, the best part of this book was that we got to explore life with our family. And, mm -hmm. and of course, at the center of that, the center of our universe was always our Ganny. Um, she made us better. So to write about her again mm -hmm. was pretty great. And Barbara, I mean, you're named after her, and I bet you that came with such great pride, but also a, it was weighty, wasn't it? Yes. I have had a complicated relationship with my name, <laughs> largely because when I was little, I didn't quite understand why I would get looks with the name Barbara Bush. Um, but when my grandmother passed away, I have a very different feeling about it. She she walked into death. She, very was, she was very fearless about how she lived her life up until she passed away. And I remember the night that we found out that she had died. I was going to bed that night, and I was thinking about how she showed us all how you should live fearlessly and leading with love, because the opposite of fear is love. And I thought when I was going to bed that night, well, I get her name now. And that is a reminder to me every day to live my life in this way. And so it's no longer complicated. I'm proud and thrilled to have my name. Oh. <laughs> Jenna needs Kleenex. Yeah. Uh, she she the Kleenex. I mean, she was incredible. Even um, you guys write about how even in the days where it was starting to get out in the news that perhaps, you know, the, her, her days were, were waning, that you called her and she answered the phone. Yeah. She answered the landline. She answered yeah. the landline what, and she, she said, say? girls, don't believe everything you read. <laughs> and she and we, you know, teared up and we said, we just want to let you know you're you were the best or you are the best, and she, um, she said, well, I'm not leaving you girls. And then she sort of caught herself because she was just trying to comfort us yes. till the end, but she knew she was. I marvel at how honest and open you guys are in your family. And there was a, a part in there, I think, Jenna, you said um, that you went to your grandfather and said, like, is your heart broken? Mm -hmm. You asked, like most grandchildren would just stay away, but you felt comfortable to ask that. Well, we both had that mm -hmm. conversation yeah. with him. and. Barbara went and spent a week with him yeah. when he first went up to Maine. And, and it was just us two and, and my now husband, Craig King, too. And I didn't want my grandfather to be by himself. He was in Maine, and, and we had thought my grandmother would still be alive to go with him. And so I stayed with him and read to him every day and read love letters that he'd written my grandmother to him where he was an insecure 18-year-old worried she was going to blow him off. Oh. <laughs> and, um, and then we would go out to dinner and eat oysters and he would have a martini at night. <laughs> and it was just really special to be with him one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. And I told him when I got there that the house seemed quieter mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. Ganny. And he looked at me and he goes, so are you saying she talked too much? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, the, your grandparents are a great love story. And now there's another great oh. love story. You mentioned your husband, Craig. Let's not let that moment pass. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Wow. Well, tell us everything. How was it? We saw your beautiful pictures. How it do you was feel? wonderful. It was everything we wanted. It was small and in a place that we have grown up and have so many incredible memories in Maine. And we just wanted to make sure we could do it while my grandfather was still healthy. And so we did it out on the rocks. And then the second that it was announced that we were husband and wife. It started to rain, and I thought, that's my grandmother. She's with us, too. <laughs> and she might have been mad that we moved all the furniture out of the living room. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like watching your sister, your twin, get married? Well, just the way that you would expect. Yeah. I was full of pride. There's a picture of us hugging where I'm actually weeping onto her white dress. <laughs> yeah. You know, I wanted the best for her since the day we were born. Mm. She's the most important person in my life, minus my husband and my kids. I should be, be more careful. Um, but she exudes love and joy, and she deserves that love and joy back. Uh -huh. So much excitement. And but Jenna, I know you wanted, we, we were talking a little bit early, and we said it's an uncomfortable conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, Megan Kelly, our colleague, said some things on the air for which she's apologized, and you were right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was part of that panel, and the conversation took a turn 
none of us expected. I didn't expect it. Mm -hmm. And I, I just have to say, of course, it's wrong. Um, it's wrong. And in a world that is sometimes filled with hate, I think it's more important than ever that you, we use our voices towards love. I mean, that's what mm -hmm. we wrote about our grandma. She lived with compassion towards people that are different than her, yeah. people that um, she never even knew. And I think now more than ever, we need to make sure that when there's conversation um, goes that way towards racial intolerance, we use our voices and we use them, them loudly and with love and grace. Perfect. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you, Barbara. Thank the book is too. called Sisters First. They're on tour. They're like rock stars. They're literally <laughs> on tour. So check it out. You can go to today.com slash shop and you're going to stick around, right? You are, Oh, I'm Jenna. sticking you around. Have to. Barbara, you do you want to stick around? <laughs> you can't Not do. really, she says. <laughs> Don't Jenna. put her on the spot. All right. You can stick around. Uh,